Yeah, Aaron, if all goes according to plan, what we can expect is the county will start expanding Highway 1 on both sides of the highway to three lanes starting here at Soquel Avenue behind me and extending all the way to 41st Avenue. On the back end of a holiday week, it's been a bit of a relief for drivers on Highway 1 through Santa Cruz County because just ask anyone who drives the one regularly and they'll tell you during rush hour this highway feels more like a parking lot. There's no way around it. If you're going to go through it, if you want to go to Watsonville, you're going to be stuck an hour, hour and a half, depending on how bad it is. But Thursday, the Santa Cruz County Regional Transportation Commission announced they flew by a critical mile marker, getting approval for two projects to ease congestion. And then it also provides environmental clearance for the auxiliary lanes between SoCal Avenue and uh, 41st Avenue, as well as the pedestrian and bicycle overcrossing at Chanticleer. The plans say the Chanticleer crossing will provide pedestrians and bikers with a safe access point from one side of the highway to the other. Meanwhile, the extra lanes on the highway will be 12 feet wide, expanding the highway from four to six in just a mile and a quarter stretch and a price tag of nearly $35 million. But these will be just the first lane additions in the county's overall nearly nine mile project to expand Highway 1. So this is a big milestone because now it enables um, other projects to move forward in the um, project level environmental review. Which is why Christensen says the county spent nearly a million dollars in Measure D funding to accelerate the project <laughs> six to eight months in advance. The closer to construction they are, the more competitive they are to get funding. And so by advancing the final design of this project, we're hopefully becoming more competitive for those funds. Those funds, state funds which could help pave the way for more projects that will provide more flow to county roads. Now, as for when we could see our first sign of construction out here, Christensen told me that if all the stars align, we could be looking at next year, 2020, with a completion date sometime in 2021. Aaron, back to you. Christopher, thank you. Measure D is a voter approved half cent sales tax increase in Santa Cruz County. According to the report, it is expected to chip in $125 million to the entire Highway 1 project.